What is going on, creatives? So, Ideogram has a new release, and we want to answer two questions. First question, is Ideogram good enough to become part of the workflow? And I'm asking that question because I know that Ideogram is good. I don't need to answer that question. I need to answer, is it good enough to become part of the workflow? Because up until now, it's kind of sat on the sideline. The second question is, well, how best does it fit into the workflow? Those are two important questions because there are so many tools coming at us that we have to have some type of threshold before we bring these tools in because otherwise you're stacking tool on top of tool on top of tool. And before you know it, you're using a hundred different tools when you could probably use only 10. So that's what we're going to answer in this episode. The way I'm doing this is that I'm going to use this the way I would normally use AI art generators. I'm going to go back and forth. I'm going to take a prompt from mid journey or take a prompt for, from ideogram and put it into mid journey and vice versa. Yep. So in the first four images, what you'll see is that I'm taking a prompt that from an image I like in ideogram, and this is one of them. You can read the prompt, but this is the image. And I like this image. I like the binary code in the background. I like the details on the desk. I like the hands. I like the light glowing on the face. I like everything about this image. When I take this image and I put it into mid journey, what you're going to see is a different style. There's not as much going on. It looks like a little chessboard in front of him. We got the illuminating blue lights on his face. But the style of the image was different, whereas Ideogram produced almost like a cartoon. This is, this is, it's photorealistic. It's a comparison. It's just which style are you going for? Did you, did you want a cartoon? Well, Ideogram is it. If you wanted something more realistic, Mid Journey is it. And one of the things that we're going to see throughout this entire process is that the depth and the details, Mid Journey just stands out almost every single time. For this next image, I found this in Ideogram. Like the style of it, really all the details, although yeah. a little weird thing going on with the knee here. That should be a foot, but it, it looks like another knee. So got some issues, almost looks painted, but this one almost looks painted. Even though it says captivating, hyper-realistic illustration, it almost looks paint it. Okay. Now you take that into mid journey. And again, is the details, the sharpness is what stands out with the mid journey image. And I think that's one of the things I like both of these. I think if I had to put them in a magazine, I think I would go with the mid journey image, but the prompt and here's the thing, the prompt from ideogram going into mid journey produces, I think better images than if you were to prompt on your own. Another prompt from ideogram. All right. I like this one. And again, the reason I'm comparing these is because when I saw the image, I like them visually. As soon as I saw it, it's like, I like this one, but let's see what happens when we put it in mid journey. And that theme of detail and depth continues. I de ideogram, this is a cartoon style. And I think if we were to put these images in Dolly, I think Dolly would produce similar to ideogram versus what Mid Journey does. So Mid Journey has, you know, I, I keep hearing people talk about Dolly three and ideogram and all these being the mid journey killer. I'm not sure because when you, when you start to look at them, it's like mid journey just does a better job, but that is what motivated me to the next image because what I wanted to do in ideogram was find the details, find the image that had the details 
And I went with this one, Isadora Cruz. I didn't know who that was. I had to look her up because I wanted to find out how close does it re even resemble her. And it doesn't. So took the same prompt, went over to Mid Journey. And Mid Journey, I think, tried to get more what Isadora Cruz really looks like. So it went for that look. And so it's a more feminine look. Still structurally athletic. I mean, it's an, she's an athletic woman. So I got that. Um, which one do I like? I, I think style-wise, I like Ideogram. I think Mid Journey was closer to what the real Isadora Cruz looks like. And it, it's far more feminine. It's a far more feminine pose. But I, I like the style of what what Ideo Grand produced. So that's pretty much it. I'm not picking winners and losers here. It's just differences. And and that's this is how I work. Like, which of these do I really need? Yeah. But here is really where Ideogram and Mid Journey V6, this is where we get to really test them because really Ideogram is good for prompt coherence and text. It's always been the best model to produce any type of text. Always. From the beginning, it's been better. No. V6 brought text to Mid Journey. And so we now we can compare them. I got this prompt from Mid Journey for this image. And I like this image. This is one of those traveling posters that you know you see all over the place so i did like this image and so i took this same prompt took it over to mid journey and then i used the magic prompt the magic prompt and ideogram is similar to what dolly does when you give it a prompt when you give dolly a prompt and tell it to generate the image it then optimizes sometimes you know really destroys what you're trying to do because it interprets what you think what it thinks you want but that's what magic prompting does in ideogram it it looks to optimize the prompt to really get what it thinks you're trying to do and in this case it produced this image which i really like because one i like the placement of the font so I, I like how we have almost like the city goes up half the image and then the Eiffel Tower kind of extends further into the upper half of the, of the page. And then Paris is kind of like right there in the middle. I like that and it's behind the Eiffel Tower. And so it's kind of like the Eiffel Tower is helping create the R. I really like this design. Comics. You guys know I love comics and I'm always looking for a style in comics. And so took the prompt, moved it over into Ideogram and turned the magic prompt on. And this is what I got. Now this, I will say this, I, I, I really enjoy this type of style. So I'm definitely keeping this prompt. I'm keeping this image and I'm going to upload it to Mid Journey for a style reference, in fact. But I like this one. I think I like this one better than I like what Mid Journey did, mainly because if we look at this, this is a beautiful image. It's awesome. This is dope as hell. But this one for style, for style wise. Yeah, this is this is right on point. I love this one. Now, this one is a difficult image. I'm not even sure how he got this image to work. I'm amazed he got this image to work. But this was in Mid Journey. And then when I took it over into Ideogram, could not get it to work. So this is the prompt I had in Ideogram. And this is what it gave me. It doesn't work. And what I did was I tried to turn on the magic prompt. And when I turned on magic prompt, this is what I got better. But the problem is, is that is not close to what 
the mid journey image was. And let's go into really seeing what these can do. Cause I haven't been impressed mostly with mid journey with logos, but V6 is producing better logos. But in this case, I like what ideogram did in this case, it is simple because the one complaint I have about Dolly three, like Dolly three can't really do logos. They make them, it makes it far too complicated. Even when you ask for something simple mid journey, this is a nice, subtle logo design, but I think ideogram nailed, nailed it. The ideogram nailed this one, uh, even with how the placement of the text, the kerning and everything it is, it is spot on. Now I saw the original logo in mid journey and the design caught me. Although when you look closely at this, it doesn't really work, uh, because bricks, I think you see bricks but no one else would look at that logo and see bricks. They see a B it looks like a C I X that or three X I X. So it's weird. It's just, I just knew it's supposed to meant bricks so I can see bricks, but it doesn't really work. The ideogram though, that looks like bricks. I mean, you clearly see the B, the R, it turned the I and I was, it's really cool how it did the I where it kind of fed into the R and into the K really cool. How, how it did that, but that bricks media and media is spot on is just, it's right there. Um, and the little, the little arrow at the bottom here just kind of finishes, gives it that finishing touch. So I think ideogram did a great job with this. And I think here's where ideo ideogram strength is starting to show is that as soon as you want to work with text, I think it starts to shine. I think this is where it shines. And we're going to see that clearly with my energy drink because I created a simple prompt, produce an energy drink quick hit called quick hit. I like the image that, uh, mid journey gave me, although it didn't really spell, it didn't spell it right. And at the bottom here, it's got some weird little, it has some weird text at the bottom there, but overall, okay. And then if you come over here to what ideogram did, I hate the background, but the quick hit, it got the, it got the name of the drink, right? So that's a bonus, but here's what I did. This, I had magic prompt off. I turned on magic prompts and I got this. Now the background is cool for the ideogram, but really it's the details. It's all of these details that it got right. Quick hit is right. It has the little, I guess, lightning bolt or something like that. The lightning bolt, it has that correct and scale properly. It put energy drink at the bottom and top of the can spelled correctly. So there are a lot of details in here that I really like. And the D you know, the background you can always change. Now, when I took this magic prompt from ideogram and put it in mid journey, this is what this image is what I was able to get out of mid journey. And I really like this one too. In fact, if mid journey would have put the energy drink on the can, so people actually know what it is quick hit. No one really knows what that is. I think I would have gone for the mid journey can because I'm, I'm really digging that detail. And here's what I'm liking about this mid journey image though. It has graffiti on the can splashes of graffiti. Is, so it's like this graffiti hip hop comic book style, but then it put paint 
on the floor around it. It got the shadow, the reflection proper. It has the graffiti on the wall. Those are really, really nice details that I really enjoy about this. Okay. All right. The bottom line is this. Ideogram is now good enough to become part of the workflow. Number two, Ideogram is going to take some time to learn how to prompt to get what you want. It produces something very different from Midjourney and from Dolly. It's more similar to Dolly than it is Midjourney in, in, that, in that fashion. But it is good enough. Now, the second question is, how does this fit into the workflow? And I'm going to just tell you how I'm going to use it. There are a couple of ways I can see myself using Ideogram a little bit more. Number one, because Ideogram does text much better than Midjourney, anything that I have to do with text, I will start in Ideogram. When it comes to prompt adherence, I would probably start off in ideogram and then turn magic prompt on. And then I can take that prompt and put it into mid journey. So I think I have found that when I do that step, when I take that step and say, create it and create what I'm thinking about in, in ideogram, turn magic prompt on, take that prompt over to mid journey. I get better results with that. Okay. All right. That's it. I'm done.